KTLA celebrating Asian American Pacific Islander Month with an amazing group of visionaries. Among them is former prosecutor Mary David. She has stood on international stages like the United Nations and addressed leaders about human trafficking crimes and sexual abuse. The U.S. Department of State honored her in its top 99 foreign policy leaders under the age of 33. Her empowerment messages for women range from the conventional to the creative. She must be a leader, but not too much of a leader. Translation, not too much like a man. Because a woman who speaks too loudly or aggressively isn't likable. And it is so important for a woman to be liked. Yet we wonder without irony why women don't fight back when they're assaulted, why they don't just leave the room, why they blame themselves and keep silent, as if we haven't conditioned them to do so. Mary David joins us now. Good morning. Good to see you. So good to see you, too. Mary, what compelled you to take on a legal career fighting this dangerous world of criminal uh, world of human traffickers? My work actually started in college when I met labor trafficking victims from Sri Lanka and the Philippines. We connected over shared discrimination that we were experiencing in Cyprus, where I was studying abroad, and they opened my eyes to a painful reality that I later realized was happening in my own backyard. When I found out that American boys and girls were being trafficked, it became a passion to do what I could to help. At the time, trafficking was a misdemeanor in Maryland, but I was able to work with advocates at the governor's office to increase penalties, widen the definition of trafficking to incorporate things like new dancing and account for gaps in prosecution. I was able to lead awareness initiatives to educate the public and first responders about the risks and resources for victims. And, and to, to follow on that, since those early days, have things changed for the better in terms of training first responders in cases like this? Well, children used to be charged with the crime of prostitution, but now there is an understanding that they're victims. Many states also now recognize that victims who were forced to commit crimes during their exploitation should be able to have those convictions vacated. In Baltimore, where I was a prosecutor, I handled all of the city's petitions for vacating convictions for trafficking victims. Removing those convictions is a huge piece of the puzzle as far as the survivor's rehabilitation because they can finally get access to things like housing, employment, things they've deserved all along. And Mary, many Americans um, see this as a problem that happens in other countries. Talk about the fact that it does happen here in the U.S. and, and maybe some statistics that people would be just unaware of. Too many narratives make trafficking seem like a far-off problem or focus on Caucasian females being kidnapped. And in the majority of cases, that isn't the reality. As a prosecutor, I screened for sex trafficking victims and referred them for services. Real trafficking cases involved LGBTQ youth plagued by homelessness, Asian women trafficked in massage parlors, black and brown victims with complex trauma, and kids trafficked by parents inside their homes. Those are the stories that still aren't being told or valued, and labor trafficking hardly ever gets discussed. 40% of known trafficking victims in America are black women, but we never hear about that. There's an otherness component that needs to be dismantled. And this happens through building relationships, fostering empathy and education. Part of my work as a UN advisor focused on increasing perpetrator accountability and facilitating healing for survivors of intimate partner violence and elevating the visibility and voice of Timor-Leste, a small country in uh, next to Indonesia. The more that we increase the agency of these disenfranchised communities and spread awareness about them, the closer we get to really uprooting the drivers of exploitation, which thrive when any group is susceptible to manipulation. Well, you always educate us. Thank you and congratulations on being a KTLA visionary. Thank you so much for having me. Of course, once again, Mary David is a human trafficking expert and sexual trauma specialist. You can follow her on social media at the Miss Mary David, and be sure to watch for all of our KTLA visionaries during AAPI Heritage Month.